Philly balled out. Ravens did not do so hot. They didn't do so well um, in his game. And, you know, I, I, I say for this one here, this was a test game for a lot of people on the schedule, especially Eagles fans who've been, you know, dealing with a lot of character issues of, oh, this team doesn't play anybody. They don't they don't have any competition. They've been playing these easy, weak teams. Oh, they got lucky when they played against the Commanders. They fell apart. Like, uh, the team that's been dealing with a lot of excuses that every time they beat their opponent, they hear some more and more excuses about why they're illegitimate. So, you know, this game against the Ravens, literally the number one offense in the NFL in total yards versus the number one defense and yards allowed it, it was it was magnificent to watch and you know a lot of people they want to give the glory to Saquon Barkley and they want to give the glory to Jalen Hurts and those guys are spectacular they've been playing great they're at an MVP level which is why they're both considered MVP candidates right now but the secret sauce within this Eagles team is really that defense man that defense is like that that defensive front the secondary the linebackers that defense, Eagles, is nice right now, man. Because in situations where the offense is stagnant, that's where we really see that Philadelphia Eagles defense step up and keep the other team at pace, where they cannot score. They cannot get ahead by much in points. They had 24 pressures against Lamar Jackson and the Ravens the other day. They sacked Lamar Jackson three times for 31 yards yesterday. And the Ravens, they had more possession time but the Eagles, they still kept those guys below their average amount in total yards. But the most impressive thing here is that they held the Ravens to 12 points. 12 points the entire game. Crazy. It was a crazy game here. And obviously, we know the Ravens ended up with 19. But that last touchdown, that, that was just that was garbage minutes. It was garbage time. Where they ended up finding the end zone again. So, you know, the, the thing with the Eagles is, like, you can say whatever you want about them not being legitimate, the competition they've been facing, how great Saquon Barkley is, how great Jalen Hurts is, or, or their flaws. Say all of those things that you want, but it comes down to the Eagles. They tackle well. They defend well. And they're very, very diverse on defense. They stand strong. They're physical at the line of scrimmage. They're physical in the secondary without getting penalties. And that's something that's truly helping this Eagles defense here. And, and I mean, man, did y'all see? Like, did you see how Cooper DeGene laid out Derrick Henry, bro? Like, come on, man. Come on. This was just beautiful football. It was beautiful football. On both sides of the ball. I mean, Saquon Barkley did his part, obviously, as we know. But it was just beautiful football all around, man. Like, you, the, the, the tackle specifically. Cooper DeGene, man, he laid Derrick Henry out. We know, we know what kind of running back Derrick Henry is. Straight power back. The man doesn't go down off of one hit. He doesn't go down off of one tackle. You need at least two or three people to try and bring him down to stop the football. Cooper DeGene... Laid him out, caught him on the screen, on a little uh, a pass to the flats, ran up to him, scooped him up, and then dropped him on his back. It was it was beautiful to watch. It was football. It was football. These are the type of football moments you don't really get in the, in this day and age of the football. You see what happened to Trevor Lawrence in, in that Jaguars game versus the Texans. They tried to that man. They wanted to crucify my guy who hit Trevor Lawrence, and I'm like, he's just playing football at the end of the day. So watching what the Eagles were doing, that was just beautiful football there on Sunday. And, and honestly, man, they earned a lot of respect out of me and, and a lot of the trash that I've talked and, and said about the Eagles and the doubts that I've had, man, it really made me rethink about all of those doubts because this team, the way they looked in week 13 against the Ravens, they looked like the best team in football without a doubt, without a doubt. And again, I hate that I'm saying this because I know Philadelphia Eagles fans don't know how to act. They're going to take this and just assume they're going to the Super Bowl no matter who they got to face when it's still some competition in the NFC. So, oh my gosh, I can't stand the Ravens that they really making me talk about the Eagles like this. And as a matter of fact, the Ravens, they, they got a whole part on their own where they need to, to just get better, man, because this isn't the performance you want to see if you're a Ravens fan. This performance just, just kind of sums up the entire season of what we've seen from the Ravens so far, just being a very inconsistent team. The Ravens have been fairly inconsistent this entire season. Every time they play someone where it's supposed to be good competition, we see them completely crumble. We see them fall apart. They're two, uh, they won two of their last four games total, and 
and what we've been watching is a Ravens team who looks tremendous at times and also a Ravens team who look like they need help. And that's what that's what we've been watching all season for the Ravens, man. The offense, sometimes they can get going, sometimes they can't. Sometimes guys can catch, sometimes they can't. The defense, oh, yeah, they can stop you. They'll be present, but also they'll blow some coverages here and there. They, they'll miss some tackles here and there. But th- that's that's just it, man. If the Ravens, if they're supposed to be, you know, the, the dominant team of the AFC North, which they are not, as a matter of fact, for those who are wondering, they are not the dominant team in the NFC North like we thought they were going to be. Anybody who, who was thinking that about the Ravens completely went down the drain. Steelers have been the top dog. Ravens are not even there. We talk about, oh, which teams can beat the Kansas City Chiefs? Definitely not looking like the Ravens to do that. It's looking like, oh, can the Steelers actually scoop up some luck and beat the Kansas City Chiefs? Can they stop the Buffalo Bills if you're cheering for a team out of the AFC North? It's definitely not the Ravens. So that's my bone to pick with them. But above all, it was a beautiful game. Beautiful game. Thanks to Philly. Making it look great, making it look effortless, making it just look flawless, man. And, you know, great performance all around from an aspect of watching football, watching football. It was, it was great to watch. You got a lot of different things that you got to enjoy in the game of football from looking there, whether it's from the defensive line, the, the secondary, the linebackers, the offensive line, the offense, quarterback play, receive. You, you got a lot of different dynamics of football that you really had the chance to enjoy watching the Eagles playing 13 in week 13. Crazy, crazy. 